channel. This look is going to be a more subtle Valentine's Day look for you guys. And it's just inspired by this picture that I had posted. Just these nice, beautiful, muted roses. So that's kind of what this look is inspired on. This video is also a collaboration with Fran... Fran... Frangeli? Villar. I hope I pronounced that right, girl, if I'm, I'm sorry if I didn't. But she is a fashion blogger, so I went ahead and created the makeup look and she's gonna put an outfit to go with this look. So I'm gonna leave all her blog information down below for you to check out the full um, Valentine's makeup and then outfit. So it's gonna be awesome. So go check out her blog and I'm gonna leave her Instagram information down below for you as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this more subtle Valentine's look and let's get into the tutorial. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna be doing is priming our faces with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water just to help the foundation adhere to our skin better. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spray that onto my face. Next, I'm gonna be going in with the BB Tinted Treatment Primer from Tarte. Mine is in the shade Light. And I'm gonna be applying that with my Morphe E9 foundation brush. It's just this nice flat brush and it's going to help to spread the product around the face. This foundation is, it's not really a foundation, it's a BB cream but it's a little thicker than normal BB creams so it works just like a foundation and it's freaking amazing and it's perfect if you don't want to wear something super full coverage. I really love using this BB primer and replace of like foundation for everyday use. This is really amazing. So now that we have the product spread around, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Morphe E54 foundation buffing brush. It's just this nice flat brush. It's very sturdy and dense, so it helps just to buff that in to the skin to give us that airbrushed finish. Cause you know we all want that look going on, don't we? Now that we have that buffed into our skin, I'm going to go ahead and go in with some concealer. And for that, I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Contour Concealer. This is in the shade Neutral Fair. I've been hearing a lot of people raving about this, Jaclyn, Thinkive, and Manny, and everyone basically. So I went ahead and picked up my own. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's freaking amazing. This does not freaking crease at all and it's been a while since I found a concealer that does not crease on me. When I tried this the other day, I am just like in love with it right away. So I think this is going to be my new go-to concealer and it's probably going to turn into my holy grail because it's the only one that I own that does not crease on me so far. So I'm going to go ahead and put this under my eyes and in my T-zone and this freaking applicator is just beyond like huge. Oh my gosh. But okay, so we're going to go ahead and put that on. We're just going to dab it. And I'm just going to take my beauty sponge from Ulta. I went ahead and opened up a new pack and threw those purple ones away. And dude, this, these ones are a lot softer than those other ones I had. Oh my god. Alright, so once we get that nicely blended into the skin, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my RCMA No Color Powder and I'm going to go ahead and set that real quick. And I'm just going to use my E48. And I'm just setting my face today. I'm not trying to bake this time. I'm just going to leave the powder under my eyes though, just so if I have any fallout from the eyeshadow, it'll just fall on there. I'm just going to set the rest of my face real quick. I'm going to be going in with my ambient lighting bronzer from Hourglass. This is in the shade Brie Bronze Light. And I'm just going to take my E3. This is great for bronzing and I just really enjoy how fluffy and I really enjoy how well this blends. And 
And then I'm just going to go ahead and clean it up a little bit with that same RCMA powder. And we're just going to dust it off real quick. And then I'm going to be going in with a blush today. I'm going to be using Hourglass's Ambient Lighting Blush. And this is in the shade Diffused Heat. It's just this nice subtle pink and it's a luminous blush. So to apply my blush, this is a MAC 129 foundation brush to apply um, foundation powders. But I like using this to apply my brush because it really does an amazing job at doing that. Now that I have applied my blush, I'm going to go ahead and add some highlighter. I'm going to do two different highlighters today. I'm first going to set down a cream and then I'm going to put my powder over it. I'm going to set down my cream first. So this is the cream highlighter from Becca. This is in the shade Moonstone. It's very beautiful. This is actually one of the first highlighters that I've ever gotten. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my beauty blender and dip into that. Get a nice decent amount of product on there. Now that I have that set onto my face, I'm going to take my pink glow from Bobbi Brown and I'm just going to take my 184 fan brush from MAC and just lightly dust that on top of the cream. Alright, so now that we have our whole face done, I'm going to go ahead and set my face real quick and then we're going to do the eyeshadow. Alright, next I'm going to be going in with my Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer. Now we're just going to keep the eyes very subtle for this look. Next I'm going to be going in with my Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. And I'm just going to be taking the shade Heaven real quick just to set my primer. Now that we have our eye primer set, I'm going to be going in with a transition color. Alright, so I'm going to be going in with the shade Nudie from this palette, just to do my first transition. And I'm going to be using my E27 Leffy Blending Brush to apply my transition. The next color I'm going to be using is from the Morphe 35B palette. I'm just going to use a little bit of this pink right here and put that into my transition. And like I've said before, blending is always key. You want to make sure that shit is blended to the gums. Now that we're done with the transition shade, I'm going to go in with, I'm going to go back to my Too Faced palette and I'm going to be taking honey butter and chocolate cookie and I'm just going to be putting that like on my outer half of my eye. So I'm going to start with honey butter. Now I'm going to really focus on blending in that center area just so we have a nice gradient. And then I'm going to be going back to my Morphe palette. I'm going to be taking this nice muted rose color. It has just a little bit of reflex in it too, so it's going to be beautiful. And focus that on my outer third this time. And I'm still using that D27 brush. Now we're just going to buff this rose color into the crease a little bit. I'm going to go back to this honey butter. I'm going to drag the honey butter into my inner corners. All right, so I did do a few things off camera. I kind of just did the basics. I am going to be starting a series called The Basics. The Basics is just going to be a very descriptive how-tos on like applying eyelashes or doing your eyebrows, things like that. It's just going to be a very detailed 
tutorial on those specific things. So that's why I'm not including them in my tutorials. Now we're going to go ahead and apply the lips. For that, I, I'm going for a muted rose look to compensate for that. I'm going to be doing a mix for the lips. I'm going to be taking NYX's Strawberry Milk. It's just this nice, beautiful, kind of toned down pink, and it's really beautiful. And I'm going to be mixing that with my Anastasia Lip Gloss in the sh shade Undressed. This is like very Barbie pink. Oh my god. Now you can just leave this with the strawberry milk by itself, but of course, you know me, I got the, I'm gonna be a little extra. I'm gonna apply Undress now and blend those together. Now that we have everything done, I'm going to go ahead and just do one last setting. So I'm going to go ahead and take my favorites, Urban Decay and Tatcha. I'm just going to spray those on my face real quick. And I'm going to take Tatcha. I really enjoy this look. I love the muted rose color. It's overall just gorgeous for Valentine's Day. And this is a little more subtle than the glitter crease. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and be sure to leave any comments down below of any requests that you might have. And don't forget to subscribe because that will enter you guys into my giveaway. So don't forget to do that. And don't forget that I post every Sunday, you guys.